One prominent real estate developer believes the Housing Development Corporation has moved away from its original mandate, that is, to provide affordable housing for lower to middle income earners. Afra Raymond says when you consider the large number of people still only dreaming of home ownership and the scores of unoccupied houses, many of which have fallen into disrepair, the question arises, has the HDC failed in its mission? Dion Batiste explores the subject in this report. These HDC houses are still vacant, and the scenario is the same in many other parts of the country. This while there are thousands of people who have applied to the HDC and are still waiting some decades later to get their dream home. Property consultant and surveyor Afro Raman says good quality housing is a fundamental human right which should be catered for within the society. He says this is not restrictive to the state constructing homes but should include rent control and the provision of affordable land. People like the Land Settlement Agency or the EMBD that are redeveloping the Karani lands, they are making lands available for less well-off people to acquire lands. The program was originally called Land for the Landless. And of course, under the previous administration, they took a wrong turn. They went into the long grass and we had to call it Land for Everybody. Overarching all this, Mr. Raymond says, is the issue of economic and land use planning. There's a question of where do we build these homes? Where do we build these homes and why do we build them there? And having made the choice, because it's a choice, Having made the choice to build these homes here, what are the implications of that choice? Not just the thing, but the meaning of the thing. What is the impact of that decision on the society, on the land, and on the economy? Taking all this into consideration, has the HDC fulfilled its mandate? Quite frankly, they're not doing their work. Because their work is prescribed by law in the Housing Development Corporation Act. It isn't what I say, it's by law. That law was passed in 2005. Embedded in the 2002 housing policy is the mission to provide affordable housing for lower to middle income earners in society. Mr. Raymond believes the HDC has drifted away from its policy goals. The housing program that HDC is on and that they've been on for the last 15 years is a housing program that has been attempting to put it succinctly, to fortify the middle class home ownership in this country. It has had very little to do with low income people or poor people. The actual income, not the imaginary income, not the Facebook income, not, not the old talk we give each other, the actual real income of the people in this country is not that high. Over 70% of the population, the, the households in the country have a household income less than, less than $8,000 a month. He says all stakeholders must evaluate the facts and come up with different ways to approach the target. Mr. Raymond thinks it imperative that rented housing be part of the conversation. This, as he notes, a concerted effort between administrations to fortify the middle class home ownership. Leon Batiste, C News.